Hi guys, it's Kobe here and in today's video we are going to do a reverse version of this particular tutorial I did. So this was a tutorial of disintegrating objects using the poly effects and the MoGrap effectors to disintegrate any object and in this case it was just a text. And I got a question in here, someone asking how do you do the opposite to make the text reveal, right? So in my mind I thought it was just going to be simple. So I have one of the scenes here, so I thought it was just going to be simple while just inverting the effect. So all I thought I was going to do was to just come into the random effector. I'll start from the plane, I'll come to the plane effector and I'll come here to the modifiers and I'll actually come and choose invert, click invert so that I will invert it. And I'll do the same for the random, come to random, invert and the time I saw I'll say invert and I hit play and I thought it was going to play and I realized it starts flick flickering right so typically if it's flickering like that what you do is you come to the time come to the freeze modifier in there you set subfields only so I'll do the same thing for the rest I saw random and I'll check the select the freeze only subfields and the same thing with the um, plane as well, subfills. And if you hit play, now nothing happens, it freezes. And I don't know why it was happening like that. I'm thinking because there is an, a, a spherical field in somewhere, that's why it's causing that issue. So I realized it wasn't as simple as I thought it was going to be. So I had to find a way to actually get it, to use the fields to control when to trigger animation. Because the whole point is, Sometimes you might not want the whole thing to animate straight away. You want to trigger it using the field. So maybe in some middle of your video, you want now the text to disappear, not like right from frame one. So that's how I decided to look for preach other way to actually use the make it grow on and to reveal the object rather than disintegrating so let's actually see how we do that so i'll create a new scene and i'll actually come um, into this one and i'll copy the x so i'll copy and i'll come into this scene and i'll paste it. all right i'll actually set transform everything into the center and i'll delete this poly effect so that we start afresh so i'll come in here and if you know how we did the in um, initial this thing the first one we added our poly effects made it a child of the object right and now we start adding the eff um, effectors so with the poly effect selected i'll come in here and the first object i want to use is the plane effector right and now it's displacing it as um, usual because it's moving the poly um, the polygons on centi uh, y centimeters and the polygons is moving this way because it's following its normals which is very normal, right? So it's displacing the, the um, polygons for us. What I'll do is, I don't want it to move on that particular angle, I'll actually, so I'll set it to effect. So now it's following the position of the effector, right? So I reduce it back to, let's see, five or 10 will be fine for now. And I'll come to the scale as well, and I'll set it to uniform, and I'll say minus one. So that it disappears because we want it to come on now the next thing is we are going to use um a spherical field or any other field so what i'll actually do is i'll come to my fields and now this is very important instead of adding what you have to do is first add our freeze layer to actually freeze this position but let's see what happens if i add my freeze so i come in here and i add the freeze and you can see it reveals everything back it doesn't store the state that we like, the, the state that the thing has disappeared. Now it brings it back. So what I'll do first is instead of using the freeze first, I'll use this um, solid. So I'll use this solid um, modifier down here. So where is it? Solid, right? And it keeps this state. What the solid does, it just gives it 100% value. So it keeps it where it is. Then I'll add the freeze. So you can see now the freeze didn't um, clear what we have. Then now I can delete the solid so what now we are going to use our spherical field to control when 
the object should review or the polish should review so now add my spherical field right and in this time we will we'll, what we are going to do is we are going to use it to subtract it from our original position or like the form that we have it right so now if we change from max to subtract you can see now it's revealing our object right so everything is fine so the next thing is you select our freeze and you come into the freeze come down to its layers down here and ideally you set it to grow so that it will grow on it but the grow doesn't work i don't know why when it checks up fields still nothing happens so instead of using grow we will use something different which is the average right and make sure auto update is always checked so now if you hit play you can see it's trying to average the whole scene trying to find other um polygons closer and stuff like that so i'll make our circle field smaller like we did make it smaller in here and i'll move it a little right at the tip and now let's go back into our freeze right so everything is fine the next thing is how do we get it to grow so we are going to use a different modifier and that's called the curve modifier so if you play still everything is normal so we come into our curve modifier and select one of these points and shift it small to the edge right and the higher you push it the faster it will go but you shift it a little bit so now if we hit play simple it reveals our text and let's increase our frame and now if you hit play you can see now it's revealing our text so that's how you basically i figured out to use the grow effect to actually reveal our text right so now we can go in and add our other um details that we want so maybe for now i'll, I'll be cool so we'll do the same thing for the random so i'll select the poly first come to bow graph effector random right and in the random position, I would like to add rotations and stuff as well. Um, a bit of rotation in here. And now, um, maybe a little bit of scale as well. Which is not necessary, but whatever you want to add, I will add it in here. And now, I'll come to my fields and I'll do the same thing. Add the solid before I add the freeze. So that it keeps that state now i can delete my solid and the next thing is i'll use this same spherical field so i'll drag it into the fields in here and i'll set it to subtract right then we select our freeze and we change it to average and we say auto update right the next thing is how we will go ahead and add the cave but we can simply go into the plane select this cave right click and copy Come to the random right click anywhere and paste and now if we hit play the random effect tattoo is also working so now it's revealing it so it's very simple it's very simple as that so with the random effect we cannot go in the way it's too wide so we cannot reduce the randomness and um, the position of the randomness to a little how you want it how however you want it and now if you hit play it comes in very smooth the next thing is you are going to do the same thing for the time because the initial one we use time as well so i'll come into select the more um, poly effects and i come to more graph and now choose time as well bring it down and now if you hit play you can see the time is already rotating our object right you can see it's rotating the polys so actually let me pause so we can come into the fields and add the solid to keep that state and and now add our freeze so now we can delete this one as well and now continue with the um spherical field i'll drag it in here let's say subtract then i'll come to my freeze and i'll change it to average and auto update right the next thing is i'll copy the plane curve again or any of them copy it control right right click and say copy and i'll come to time right click and i'll say paste and we've 
basically done the same thing so with the time actually i can go into the time parameters and maybe add a bit of position as well um, add a bit of position and in the plane effector okay i'll leave it at where it is so instead of y i'll probably say x so i want it to come from this side so or maybe add a little bit of y as well so if we go back and hit play and see now it's revealing our text and we use the same three effectors that we did in the initial one so now if you want to control our um, the the how fast it goes now you can go into our um, fields and same thing freeze you can increase the strength and things like that so i can increase the strength to 150 and i'll do the same thing for the random 150 as well and the time comes to the freeze and set that one to us 150 and you can actually use express to espresso to link them together so that you don't have to do it through but in this case this is just the basic so if you hit play um, everything moves like reviews and the next thing is you can actually come here and to add the delay on top so i select the poly effects and i can to more graph effector and i can add the delay effect on top of the motion in code you go to our police and you go to our effect as you can see now the delay too is added on top of it and now you give it a little a bit more smooth, smoothness in it you can see now it's a bit way smoother and see the way it forms so the delay add extra level of smoothness so you can actually set it to um where is it bring the delay down somewhere and go to its effectors and you can set it to let's say spring and see what happens probably increase it a little bit and let's hit play and see it's there's a little bit of bounciness in it yeah so basically that's how you use you do the reverse version of the poly effects using the freeze and remember the text is still parametric so i can come into the text and i'll change it to say capital l now because of the delete let's refresh it now the I, I think the spherical field is not touching the l so let's move it somewhere in where it will touch the l let's hit play yeah so i basically use the same idea to sort of do a car reveal on so like a car with a different color the body revealing showing a different color and this one was actually not planned it was just to see how it works so i just brought in this car model and i just added the same um poly effects and everything so you can see um the polygons are not well um it's not like detailed it's not enough so there are some places that looks very open and stuff like that but if I'm taking time and know if anyone takes time to do this, you can actually do it to a very nice car review. So this one wasn't really planned by it. I was just trying to see how it work on something else and all of those um, small, small details. So basically, this is all about the tutorial and this is how you do something like this. Um, and I'm happy um, you watched it to this end. And if you like it, please kindly subscribe and like and share as well. And that will help me to do more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.